Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Friday, February 21st, and it's 940. And I've been thinking a lot about that video that Amanda Christian made about Kim Mosley. And it occurred to me that what those doctors were talking about was that they had no one there to specialize in Graves' disease. They would never have let her walk out of that hospital with even the possibility of having COVID-19. I'll tell you why. Because it would have been like sending a crazy person out with a loaded gun. And they wouldn't have been willing to take that risk. Now think about it. Now I want to share with you, I'm just going to read to you because it's in Chinese and she gets to yelling and there's no, I mean you could go listen to the yelling but uh, I mean she's very upset. I'm going to read to you what she says, it's only a three minute video. Alright, this is a woman, they call her Mrs. Wuhan. All right, so let me see if I can back it all the way up. Hit play. It says, my fellow citizens, because of this Wuhan pneumonia, I'm going to have to slow it down. Let me slow it down to, goes too fast. I'll try 0 0.75. That's slower, right? I haven't done that in a while. All right, because of this Wuhan pneumonia virus, oh, I'm going to have to slow it down more. This Everything happened from schemes and plans. Everything happened with schemes and plans from the government. However, only normal citizens are suffering from this disease. That's interesting. Family, what, the words are now under the line. My family, I'm sorry, let me get my act together here. My family, my parents, my friends, government doesn't care about us, normal citizens. We can't buy medicine with money. We can't go into the hospital room with money. And Hong Kong, I support your independence. I also support Taiwan's independence. Tibet and Hong Kong, I support independence. Cutting this down to half. All right. evil deeds of the Chinese Communist Party. This is playing in half now. A corrupt regime. This poor woman. An evil society. Not a single person can speak freely. There's no one. If anyone speaks about truth, they'll be caught by the police. And be deliberated, detained, and legally educated. If they decide 10 or 20 years, then it's already decided. Even lawyers are useless. All righteous lawyers are caught by the government. Even though they want to tell the truth, they can't say anything because of the evil regimes everywhere. I'm going to tell you something. One person's sacrifice, two people's sacrifice. If it, it is a sacrifice that is necessary for a revolution. 
I will make a sacrifice, expose and wake up for my parents, for my family. Now, now she's yelling pretty good here. Bless your heart. For our free lives. I know it's dangerous for me to speak out. But I can't take it anymore. I cannot. No beds. No medicines. All the news from TV is a lie. Yeah, we kind of knew that. No beds, no medicine. I saw ordinary citizens suffer and scream. I'm going to make a voice. I will speak for myself, for the Wuhan citizens, for the Chinese people. I wonder if she's a nurse or a doctor. They're just doing this for the money. In this evil society, I can no longer keep my mouth shut. This is horrible. She's so upset. I mean, wouldn't you be? She's just, I really think I'm going crazy. No one is willing to speak out, but I'm going to stand up and make a voice. We really have to resist, my fellow citizens. We can't be fooled by them anymore. I can't live like this anymore. We have to speak out for the next generation. <laughs> If she only knew, there is no next generation. It's all we're going to be under the reign of Christ. Give this woman the voice in the audience her courage deserves. Share for Mrs. Wuhan. I'll put the link in the description box for those of you who want to see it in real time. Like she, you know, yelling and stuff. It's called Mrs. Wuhan Speaks Out, and it's by the Exalted Lamb One. Okay, so let me stop that. Bless her heart. I feel so sorry for her. And 13 thumbs down? Really? Really? What do you hate, the Chinese or something? No, I suppose she practiced acting that emotional so she could put out a good video. I tell you what, some people will thumbs down if they don't like the exalted lamb because he put out a bunch of stuff from, uh, what is it, the iPad Goat 2, and he's fixing to put out a lot more. And you know there is a Chinese lady in there. And he was pointing out some things yesterday in his video that I watched of his, how he's, um, how he just, he mentioned some things that was in the video that I remembered seeing that had to do with this. And I was like, ah, that's right, that was in there. Anyway. Do you remember the Chinese lady in that? Well, anyway, he's, I don't know if it's out yet, but he's coming out with another video. Well, anyway, I'm going to end this here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this, and I pray for all the Chinese people. I pray for everybody 
who is now in lockdown. Their, their places of living are being actually welded shut. I mean, they're just being welded shut, left in their homes, basically to get well or die, whatever you can do. And they showed a picture, it might have been on his video, uh, not sure, people trying to climb out of a very high-rise apartment building. This guy was going from balcony to this thing, to this balcony, to, and... Very, very well, I might say. Um, he was still at it when uh, that part t stopped. But anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over all these people and pray that they don't die before they get a chance to meet you as their Savior. I know that's not allowed over there. Certainly wouldn't take place in the hospital, but maybe outside of it. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself and my computer and my internet connection and over each and every one of you may you all stay well relatively well I mean doesn't this make us grateful that we may have a chronic illness but it's not that you know what I mean and let us pray that our faith does not falter, that we stand strong in Psalm 91. No, a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand. It will not come near us. We will only look on with our eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. And there's another line in there. No pestilence will enter into my tent or my dwelling, or my house, however you want to say it. No plague or pestilence will enter into my house. Okay. So I pray that over all of you, and I hope you're praying that over your household. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connections, so we can stay connected and stay Stay up with what's happening so we can keep praying that these people will come to know the Lord Jesus Christ even if it's during their last breath. With that, I'll say goodbye. I'll talk to you later.